Gray County. This program is brought to you by OHL Action Pack. Looking to see tomorrow's stars today? Follow the teams and players you want to watch. OHL Action Pack is part of the Rogers Super Sports Pack. Welcome to HealthLink, a program connecting home, community, and healthcare. My name is Carol Merton, and today I am delighted to welcome three guests to the program. All of these guests are affiliated with Proactive Physio, which is a physiotherapy clinic, Proactive Physio Plus, um, in Owen Sound. And we're going to be learning about Proactive Physio Plus, and we're also going to be learning more about nursing services and nurse practitioner services that are now going to be offered or are offered through this clinic. So. Thank you to everyone for being on this program. I'm really appreciative of you being here and uh, sharing your information with us. Now I'm going to go to Deepa Ramua first, and then you know after that it's a toss up whether we go to Christine Fenton, who is an advanced wound care nurse, and also Jillian Elms, who is a nurse practitioner. So. These are our guests today, and I'm going to turn it over to you first, Deepa, to tell us a bit about yourself your role with the clinic, and then you can pass it over to our, our nurses and nurse practitioner. Thank you, Carol. Thank you for having us uh, one, uh, now. And uh, I just want to thank, be thankful for Christine and Julian joining us as well. Um, so wound care, I'm a physiotherapist and we have a clinic here in Owen Sound. Uh, it's a multidisciplinary clinic and we have a location in Owen Sound as well as in Sobel. And as I said, it was multidisciplinary. We have physiotherapy, occupational therapy, massage therapists, and naturopath. And now we are very, very happy to introduce um, the nursing services, um, mainly for wound care as well. This is one model that when Christine came to me, she said, like, you know, with wound care, and I, or in fact, my passion for wound care actually started with her because when she her and I, we were working at the same place, and she's the one who said, I'm done, I'm not able to get this wound going down, and um, where physio and nursing work together, like, uh, you know, together, and actually, we were quite successful in getting the patient moving a little bit, so that's where the wound care passion started for me, and then I did my courses, and of course, Christine has become from the nurse to the advanced wound care for all the uh, efforts that she put in, and uh, I know pretty sure she's going to give all the all the headings that she has behind her name, right, Christine? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And, yeah. So we are very happy to introduce this service right now. We have the services in Owen Sound, but we'll be very happy to expand it to Sobel as well. We are open to expand it in Sobel as well. Uh, we are getting our feet wet, and uh, <clears throat> another important thing that I want to mention here is. This is a new model, you know, just the last two years, COVID has just changed so many things for us. And um, we just want to introduce this model and we know it will work for good. So um, that's what uh, is our initial steps we have taken. And I'm so happy to welcome both of you to our services. And thank you so much. And Christine is the one who introduced to Julian. So and it has been a pleasure to working along with them. We are you know, getting our, excuse me, feet wet and we are navigating things. We are slowly ironing out and we are navigating things. And it's been a pleasure so far to uh, work with them. And I will leave the floor to Christine now. Thank you so much, Deepa. It's so nice to be working with you again and Jillian as well. And, and I'll talk about that a little bit more. Thank you, Carol, too, for the opportunity and the platform that we can discuss um, the services at Proactive Physio Plus um, collectively. Um, my name is Christine Fenton. I live in Owen Sound. I'm an, a registered practical nurse and an advanced wound care nurse. And I've always been drawn to the nursing field and motivated to care for others. Um, I chose to become a nurse so that I could advocate uh, for those struggling to advocate for themselves. And I wanted to be uh, the face uh, to look upon when they were insecure and the hands to bring them joy and relief in their time of need. So that was my humble beginnings. 
uh, my first experience in nursing, I was 17. And uh, I was hired in a long-term care home in Bruce County. Um, at the age of 21, I graduated from the personal support worker program in Owen Sound. And then at 25 years of age, I graduated from the registered practical nursing program. Um, it was during these placements uh, that I was introduced to the art of wound care. And I've never looked back. In, I've been working towards um, certificates um, in wound care for the last 10 years. I focused my education on acquiring the knowledge and skills necessary to provide exceptional wound care. And I've succeeded in obtaining um, certificates um, for the benefits of my clientele. So certificates like surgical uh, complications, for example. Um, in 2021, I graduated from the IIWCC program, which is short for the International Interprofessional Wound Care course. It is a mouthful. Um, this course is presented. It is so such a long course name. People are like, what is it? IIWCC. Um, this course is presented by Wounds Canada and is affiliated with the University of Toronto. And the faculty is absolutely amazing. Um, I've learned from them. They are the world leaders in the field of skin and wound care. They're our policy makers, our best practice decision makers. Um, and this program was developed for wound care specialists to effectively translate evidence-based knowledge into our practice. Um, so this dissemination of knowledge um, translated into my practice when I developed, implemented, and managed an advanced wound care program for long-term care home here in Owen Sound. And I graduated in that, from that course in 2021. And after 25 years of nursing, serving uh, long-term care, I chose to uh, collaborate with my friend Jillian and Deepa and uh, to focus on wound care and advanced wound care uh, full-time in a private uh, care practice setting. Yeah. So it has always been my vision uh, for, for years and years to collaborate again with Jillian and Deepa and Deepa's team at Proactive Physio Plus because wound care requires an interdisciplinary team of healthcare professionals to meet the needs of the wound and the client care goals. Um, and I am only one piece of, of that process uh, for wound healing. Uh, Proactive is a clinic that offers, um, they restore um, uh, and maintain encouraged mobility, function, and well-being. And this is how you approach wound care. Um, this clinic um, is a working environment for the benefits of our clientele. Because alternatively, um, for example, a post-surgical wound, a hip replacement or a knee replacement, you're going to multiple facilities to obtain the treatment needed to meet the treatment goals at the end of the day. And Proactive Physio Plus um, is an interdisciplinary team. And now with Jillian too, um, we have that in one place. So, Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. So that, that just flows right into Jillian now as a nurse <laughs> practitioner. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Jillian, but also the, what is a nurse practitioner and what is your role? For sure. Thank you, uh, Christine, for paving the way. <laughs> So my name again is, is Jillian Elms. I uh, was, was born and raised in Owen Sound. My mom uh, was a receptionist for a family doctor in Owen Sound for almost 30 years or more. So I grew up helping my mom in the office, filing charts from a young age. Uh, from this early experience, I sort of naturally gravitated towards a, a career in, in healthcare, but uh, family medicine as well. Uh, when I was eight, 12 years old, I, uh, I was bored and wanted to start volunteering mm -hmm. my time. So I started uh, volunteering at Mapleview Nursing Home in Owen Sound. Mm -hmm. um, when I was 16, I, I was working as a healthcare aide in a local retirement home. Uh, and at one point, I actually ran a small business in Owen Sound offering home care services for seniors. Uh, so I would help with cooking and cleaning and mm -hmm. running errands, setting perms. <laughs> On a few occasions, I, uh, I provided overnight respite care to some uh, palliative folks in Owen Sound. I couldn't even drive, and I had no formal training whatsoever, uh, but I made up for it. It's my ability to, um, to empathize with people and understand their needs and my desire to, to help. Mm -hmm. 
So in my late teenage years, I uh, went to bachelor. Of, I went to Western University for my uh, bachelor of science in biology. I uh, went back again, got my degree in nursing. And then in 2014, graduated from the University of Toronto with my uh, Master of Nursing and Nurse Practitioner um, Primary Healthcare uh, Certificate. So I worked in, in the Owensdown area since 2014 as a nurse practitioner in a few different settings. Um, I've, I've worked in person at uh, different um, family health teams and community health clinics, uh, but I also work uh, if for a private uh, company called TELUS Health, uh, which provides um, revolutionary on-demand uh, telemedicine care uh, to Canadians. So I, uh, I've got a, a, a wide range of, of experience and, uh, and, and background that's brought me to, to where I am today. Excellent. So my question now is for those who are viewing audience who will tell their friends and neighbors about what they've been watching on the program. Um, wound, wound care, people often think of it being done either in a home environment or in a hospital setting, but you're talking about providing care, wound care, in a clinic setting, which is a multidisciplinary, but originally physio clinic. What drew you as a nurse practitioner to, to this environment? Yeah, so I've, I've, I've worked a mix of, again, in person, I've worked virtual care for quite some time before the pandemic uh, started. Um, so uh, having a different experience in both the public and, and private healthcare sectors has really taught me a lot about uh, what people want and what they need when it comes to their care, um, and particularly primary health care. So, and, and in terms of primary health care, I'll just explain, that means primary health care is sort of the first point of contact. Who do you go to first when you first enter into the health care system? So it's often a family doctor, family physician, or or a nurse practitioner. The, the first, first person that people would see and help navigate throughout the, the system. So I've come to understand that uh, we can help people uh, a lot virtually, face-to-face uh, -face over video without touching uh, someone. Mm -hmm. I realized that primary care services should be available and can be available after hours, on weekends, on holidays, uh, as, an, as an alternative to going to the emergency department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I've also realized that people deserve to have choices in who provides their care. Yeah. So I've sort of reached this, this place in my career, in my life, where it's time to weave together what I've learned in my work experiences and my training and just offer better access and options for people in Grey Bruce. Yeah. In, um, in Owen Sound and surrounding areas, there's over 6,000 people that uh, do not have a primary care provider. So it's time yeah. to start filling the gap and I'm, I'm yeah. happy to, to work at that. So for those who are watching <clears throat> who don't have a primary care uh, physician, can they call the clinic, Deepa, and ask to have a referral to a nurse practitioner? Yes, Carol. Um, I just want to tag along what Jillian said. Like, you know, uh, that's something, um, because sometimes I've also felt with, with wound care, just to touch base along with that, the role of physiotherapy in wound care too is there, right? And sometimes we see people right after hip surgery, knee surgery, and sometimes there is a little bit of complication that's attached to that. And uh, if they want, like, you know, just even for us, oh, if, if somebody is there too, just look into that. Like, you know, so I'll go to Jillian and say, hey, Jillian, can you just have a look at this? And so we'll be able to refer to her and people can uh, come if they need, um, if they're not able to see their family doctor right away, or if they are not able to go to eMERGE, they can always call the clinic, um, yeah. uh, Jillian's number. We will be able to provide the details for them for that. So how is this service paid for? It is through a private, and some people do have insurance coverage, and it is, we are not an OHIP clinic at the present time, but you know, opportunity comes up, we'll jump in, but at the present time, we are not OHIP covered. Um, it'll be private, and uh, we'll give them more details depending on their insurance plan as well. Jillian, I don't know if you can add anything to that on top. <laughs> I can, I can, yeah. 
So it, it's certainly not our preference to uh, to have a fee or or to charge people a fee to see um, us, uh, but it is our attempt to provide relief in a in a overburdened healthcare system where there's really limited access to advanced wound care, uh, which Christine can offer, as well as primary care services, which which I am providing. Um, in terms of my services, so any referrals that I initiate to specialists, any uh, the majority of labs or diagnostic imaging that I order is covered by OHIP. So there's no cost to patients for those. Um, mm -hmm. My time is not covered by OHIP. And so there's a, a reasonable fee to, to see me uh, for my time. And pri again, private insurance uh, plans uh, may reimburse people for the cost. Okay, so just so I understand, although we're going to be targeting about wounds, so Christine, you're not off the hook here. Um, <laughs> but, but just so I'm clear, as we're having this conversation, if there's someone out there who is, I, I'm, I really don't feel comfortable with the term, but an orphaned patient where they have no, no care, they could call proactive physio plus and ask to see a nurse practitioner is that correct yes you may get very busy jillian <laughs> <laughs> if you aren't already because i hear all the time about people who are just desperate to have some care but they can call and have a, an appointment uh, which is which is excellent so having gone back i'd like to go back to wound care so christine um, tell us about the type of wounds that you, you would see in a clinic setting. Um, what, how are things like supplies covered? You know, what, what is the obligation of the, of the person seeing you and how do you link to the other team members, like potentially, um, for diet management, nutrition consultation, how does that all work for wound care? Well, um, initially, uh, it is my role to complete a full comprehensive wound assessment. And this means that I obtain the relevant information to help define the status of the wound and uh, to identify any impediments in the wound healing process. And so whether that's dietary, uh, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, um, their provider, if they don't have one working with uh, in collab collaboration with Jillian, then there's no delay in treatments. Um, so some of the services that I can provide and dressing selection is in-house, that services are available on site. Okay. And there is a formulary that is familiar and it's international that can be re reviewed by any authorizer provider. Um, so the popular ones um, are, are there and they're available. So there's no delay in treatment. And that's included in the cost of um, the initial assessment and any follow-up moving forward. Um, related to, to costs, um, Deepa and I are working together um, with insurance companies and benefit plans and maybe reimburse through there. Um, but otherwise, I'm in the same position as Jillian and it is not our preference um, but that is private practice, unfortunately, at this time. Um, okay. So some of the services that I provide are, would be um, venous and arterial and diabetic ulcers, post-op site and infections, pressure mm -hmm. injuries, whether they're chronic or acute in all stages, um, staple, suture removals, ABPI, ABPI assessments, uh, to aid in diagnosing peripheral arterial disease, um, moisture associated skin damage, all sorts of different things. Uh, profic I'm proficient in both chronic and acute care uh, for wounds, whether they're contaminated or uncontaminated. Um, and they have full access to um, advanced therapies such as like the dressing selections, et cetera, right in the clinic. I don't order or Jillian doesn't order and they have to go find them elsewhere. They are readily available um, on site um, at all times. Um, it is also part of my role to provide frequent monitoring, monitoring of wound care progression or deterioration, proper identification, timely treatment of infection, and this needs to be coupled with the, the client's provider um, to promote the desirable wound care outcomes. Um, yeah, does that answer your question? 
It does. And as always, I have more questions. I will. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'd like to just circle back. And you mentioned about staple removal. Some of the challenges in our community are, you know, for individuals to be able to get their staples removed after surgery or, you know, they're, you know, just, just organizing things or individuals who don't have physicians. Um, so they don't have that ability. So did I hear you correctly by saying, they can come in and have staples removed or stitches removed? Absolutely, with a with a doctor's order. So I do need a direct order to do so. So if they happen to have one on discharge, absolutely, yes. or Jillian can provide it. I was just gonna say, that's where the linkages start to work in, in your clinic setting, right? Because that way, um, you know, they're, they're able to do that. And that's really important for people at post-op. Sometimes they just wanna go home and they don't worry about their staples or stitches. They just wanna go oh, yeah. home. Absolutely. Yeah, this is this is why our collaboration works really, really well. Um, our, our purpose, our goal is to bridge the gap in treatment. And so if they do require, for example, the uh, staple removal, I do need an order for that. Jillian can provide that. Um, and she's available to me, to the client, to Deepa um, as needed um, yeah. all of the time. So um, with with in regards to physiotherapy and occupational therapy we share the same office with deepa and uh, the referrals are immediate and follow-up yeah. is is not delayed yeah just to tag along on christine's yeah. note too like you know as physiotherapist um if christine is taking care of uh, the debridement and stuff so as physios we'll be able to provide the environment uh, that'll aid for wound healing, right? Because that's, she'll take it off the bed, but we'll assist for other things. And then there are OTs in our clinic if they need to go at, um, ahead for the different seatings that they need to do or um, for the mobility, other mobility issues they are there. And that's where we, our front office is phenomenal. They'll be able to coordinate these things. Yeah. It's, um, I know it's a start of a journey as we are going along, yeah. we'll have yeah. to you know, yeah. uh, see how things are and iron out some things, but we will be able to go. Yeah. That's why when Christine came to me, we were talking, wow, if this is something we are starting and then it'll be like a model to yeah. even, I don't think on, did we talk about Ontario, Christine, or did we talk about Owen Sound first to be a new model? <laughs> <laughs> when you were talking um, and you were referencing pressure, basically pressure relieving surfaces as well, yeah. it came to my mind then, not only is this a multidisciplinary approach to wound care, but it's also looking at the individual as a whole and not just Absolutely. the wound. And Absolutely. Jillian, would there ever be times when you and Christine would be looking at a wound together or Deepa and Christine looking at a wound together? How would that flow? Uh, would, would you call them and say, come on into this room and take a look? How would that work? Yeah, so if if Christine was the, sort of the, the, the first person to assess the wound in, in our clinic space uh, and she thought maybe it was infected or or needed to be swabbed or needed, you know, a set of eyes, I'm always available. If, if not in person, I can be I can jump on a, a video call, you know, secure right. video conferencing and, and look at the wound virtually um, yeah. or through photos, that sort of thing. So yeah. I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, on call for Christine when, whenever she she needs my expertise and my abilities. Yeah, and through COVID-19, we've learned about the advantages of doing tele-rehab or video rehab, or but video nursing as well, it would appear, um, and, and certainly has, has the opportunity. As a result of COVID-19, have there been concerns around the nutritional status for those people who are food insecure or who maybe have been fearful to go into public spaces or seek medical attention. We've heard that people have avoided going to the emergency departments, especially when there was lockdown um, and their conditions had worsened because they were so nervous about exposure. Have you observed any or wondered whether that's had an impact on individuals with, with wound issues? 
I think I can speak to this a little bit. Um, as I'm just one part of the puzzle, uh, dietary and um, nourishment is, is a huge puzzle piece as well um, and can impede wound healing if there's um, deficiencies there. Um, so yes, absolutely, all wounds, anything that is open, whether it's contaminated or not, there is um, um, what am I trying to say? Um, lack of nutrition somewhere, and it could be zinc. It's like it is always the pH balance is off. If it's open, there's something off, and it's often you you have to add in uh, supplements as well, whether that's um, foods, um, a supplement drink like an onshore or zinc tablets or zinc paste. Something yeah. something needs to change. If you don't change what started it in the first place, you're never going to reach the goal yeah. at the end, which is typically closure. Doesn't have to be. Sometimes um, it's pain management, sometimes, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes it's odor, sometimes it's it's closure. Like it, it really changes. And, and you have to work with the client, with the patient, and we all have to be on the same page or, or we're not moving forward. Um, so if dietary based on lab work, that we may have to do that uh, that Jillian or their provider would would do for us, then we can make those adjustments as a team. So we have a couple of minutes left in the program, and I'm wondering um, how do people connect with you? Like, do they call the clinic? I'm wondering, Deep, if you can speak to that. Uh, yes, Carol, that's the plan that we are moving forward. Yes, they can definitely call the clinic for the um, for the wound uh, nursing services, and, and I know if it is more so, um, we'll be able to direct them. And Jillian has a private line to call as well. So, but anyhow, once they call the clinic, we'll be able to direct them. And uh, my front office is well trained for that, where the, we'll have to do a little screen, like screening, you know, just to see where, uh, who would go to where. So that way we'll do the initial screening and then we'll let, uh, guide them to say, okay, you are a person who needs to Jillian can be able to direct them to them. And our clinic is um, such an accessible place as well. So every room is wide enough to fit in a wheelchair and uh, we have close to 4,000 square feet. So we are well, I know we are going to remove all the, um, we're we going to remove all the distancing and we're slowly coming down out of COVID, but still <laughs> yeah. we're planning to maintain our, uh, you know, masking and yes. Um, Yes. Social rules a little bit longer because yeah. we have so many immunocompromised people. Yeah. So and uh, they have quite a spacious room there, and it's a private space, Excellent. and they have um, uh, enough uh, privacy there to talk to their practitioners, whoever they are seeing, Christine or Jillian. Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe our time is up. Yeah. I want to thank you all very, very much. This has been so informative and excellent that this service is available. Uh, advanced wound care, certainly nurse practitioner, and of course, physiotherapy, occupational therapy. Um, and there was a bunch more you mentioned, Deepa. Um, so I, I really thank you for being on the program. Thank you to our viewing audience for joining us today to learn more about programs, resources, and services available to you and to your family. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. Get straight OHL action on Rogers TV as we bring you Owen Sound Attack games live, both home and away. As the fighting continues in Ukraine, thousands of people are fleeing for their lives, forced to leave everything behind. You can help them. Your donation.